Alright guys, this video is showing you how to replace your water pump. I want these videos to just be a little bit quicker and to the point to help you get your job done faster. So, here we go. So, first step, you gotta take your fan shroud off. <laughs> Finally learned what that is called. Thank you, YouTube commenters. First, you take your fan shroud off, then you gotta take your fan off. Um, it's fairly simple. It's just these four bolts here. They can be a little bit difficult to do if you're working in an old truck, so PB Blaster can really save the day on this project. So the fan will pop off once you unscrew these and so will this guy here. Then you want to take your belt off. Now this is a very good opportunity for you to change your belt. I suggest you do it. Why not? There is a bolt back here behind this tensioner pulley that is very difficult to get to. What you have to do is with your left hand push down on your tensioner, you know, use your ratchet, push down on it, and then with your right hand you can try to unscrew that bolt. But it's so, my bolts were so rusted I found it easier just to take a T50 bit, unscrew the, pull, the tensioner pulley, take that thing off, set it to the side. Now you have full access to your water pump. Start unscrewing everything. Now just make sure you take note to where each one goes. If I were you, what I would do is as you unscrew things, go grab your new water pump and put that screw exactly where it's supposed to go in the new water pump so that you keep track because they are all different sizes. So the next thing you need to do once these are all of these ones are unscrewed is this one here. That's the another tricky one. What you have to do in order to get access to this to unscrew it from your water pump is take your AC unit off. So there's three bolts. There's one, two, and three. Unscrew those and then you can now slide this unit off of this one which gives you access to it and you're just going to kind of set this over to the side a little bit and uh, let's see after that you need to detach your lower pump and now you still have these two hoses left right here they were so difficult to get off I found them best to do last because you can kind of be holding the pump in your hand and, and pulling down with it now and then you can uh, wiggle these bad boys off because they're so super hard to get off I don't know mine were just stuck on there now that the water pump is gone, you want to go ahead and just check all your hoses, see what needs to be replaced, if any clamps need to be replaced. I cannot stress to you the importance of making sure you have a tight seal along the sides of your water pump because if you don't, uh, you're going to have a lot of leaks. So make sure you get some silicone, make sure you clean off the surface of where you detach the old pump. Clean it with a wire brush, a straight edge knife, whatever you need to do, make sure it is just perfectly clean. Here's our new one. That's gonna go right on there like that. Apply your silicone. And then you put your new water pump back on. I decided to start with the two hoses first. And then you just start uh, putting your bolts back on. Everything is reattached, clamps on the hoses, all the bolts back in place, this bad boy back on. I'm going to wait to attach this hose to the water pump until I get the new serpentine belt on. And there we go guys. God, it feels pretty, t oh yeah, <laughs> feels pretty loose. Well that's because you're pressing down on the tensioner Morgan. Okay. Reattach your bottom hose. All that red you saw around my new water pump is the Red's uh, high temp silicone. So there you go, that's just kind of like a little step by step how to do it really quickly. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos uh, lately to give me help on how to do it and I just find it very frustrating. Some of them will go on for 15 minutes when I just like, just tell me how to do it. So there you have it. That's how you change your water pump. Gave myself a manicure last night. I don't even know why. Like, what? No. It's hot day today. Oh my god, that just missed my toe by an inch. Okay. Alright. Always dropping my tools. Always. I'm literally, I'm about to tie strings around these things and so that when they drop, I can pull them back up. Fuck! Just holding the water pump in my hands! last night.